when wearables came out, I struggled with them because I would then obsess over them. And if I had a bad sleep score, it would make me feel terrible. Or I thought I'd slept really well. And then I'd look at my wearable and go, oh, I haven't. And then I'd be more tired. And so I had this love-hate relationship. And I find it interesting that that can also shape your health. So how can we have a compassionate, caring, relatable relationship with wearables? A lot of the research has actually shown that how you feel you sleep is actually more meaningful for your health than what your objective data says. Your mindset will really shape how your body responds to things and will really then shape the impact that it has on your health. So we need to be quite cautious about what wearables are telling you. I think what's really fantastic about wearables is that they allow for this long-term tracking. It's not so much about what is happening right now, but it's about how you are doing over time. So it's a lot more about trends than it is about daily scores. 